Good evening, my name is Nathan Arnold and I'm here with another uh, Teach the Doc assignment, Chapter 2. So for this assignment, we first went over the subatomic particles and learning about uh, the different masses and charges and the different subatomic particles. So the first one is proton with the mass given to us. And the charge of a proton is positive 1. A neutron is the second particle that we know by the uh, given mass and or that we know by the given charge is it's zero, and we are able to find the mass of it. And the, uh, the third is an electron, which has a very small atomic mass, uh, or very small mass given in uh, atomic mass units, and has a charge of negative one. We then are able to use the periodic table of elements for reference, and we're able to find uh, C, which is carbon, which has an atomic number of six, Fe, which is iron, with an atomic number of 26, bromine with an atomic number of 35. We then have this fill in the blank where mass number is equal to the number of protons plus neutrons. And so using those concepts, we're able to come down and complete this chart. So for the first two, we're given the symbols and I'll walk through them here and kind of sum up the next two. But for these first two, we are given the atomic numbers and the masses. So the protons is the same as the atomic number for both of these. And to find the mass, you would, uh, or you are given the mass, which is the top number, and to find the neutrons, you subtract the protons from the mass to find the neutrons in both of these. And the electrons will be equal to, uh, will be equal to the protons for the chlorine because it's a neutral charge. For the zinc, it's a plus two, therefore there are two less electrons because electrons have that negative charge that we talked about earlier which means that the overall charge is 2 plus. Now the next two, uh, we were given the mass number and the number of neutrons for one and the number of protons for the other. So to find the number of protons, we're able to subtract the mass number from the neutrons, and then we're able to tell which element that is. We we're also given the charge for this one, so we we're able to know the um, number of electrons, so we know it's a charge of 3 plus, so it's uh, uh, it will be electrons will be 28 to 31, and it will be 65, 31, and then G, A, 3 plus. And then below, and I wasn't able to figure out how to format the uh, picture there, so I had to uh, insert a, my own picture. For this one, we are given the protons, neutrons, and electrons, and with those, we're able to uh, find the atomic number, as that's the same as the protons. And the charge we're also able to find by subtracting the protons from the electron, which is minus two. Now to calculate the atomic mass, we go ahead and look at um, the overall percentages and we combine them. So here I have the isotope of six lithium uh, and that we take the mass of that six lithium uh, and we multiply it times the abundance of it, not in the percentage form. So to take it out of the percentage form, you divide it by 100 and then you add that uh, overall number to the number of the mass of the uh, seven lithium or the lithium with a weight of seven, uh, seven isotope, and you multiply it times the uh, percentage divided by 100, so that zero point, excuse me, that's 0 0.9241, and that equals 6.9400 atomic mass units uh, with the proper amount of sig figs. Then go on to the next section, which is primarily dealing with nomenclature uh, and naming the various types of compounds and uh, chemicals. So for the first one, we have ionic compounds, where we have uh, the given formula of cation plus name of anion ending in I. And so for the first example, we have sodium and chlorine. So we take the sodium and then we take chlorine and we add the IDE, so it's sodium chloride. For lithium and or for LIF or lithium fluorine, fluorine, excuse me, uh, we have lithium and then the fluorine, which we add the IDE and we take off that INE. We then look at covalent co compounds, uh, specifically binary molecule or molecular compounds. And we have the prefix uh, and then the name of the first element followed by the prefix and the name of the second element ending in ide. For the exam first example, we have nitrogen and sulfur. And with the given formula, we have dinitrogen monosulfide. The second example, we again have nitrogen followed by oxygen this time. 
and thus we get dinitrogen tetraoxide. And then go down to binary acids where we do uh, hydro plus the name of the nonmetal uh, start ending in IC in an acid. So for hydrogen chlorine, we have hydrochloric acid, and then hydrogen and bromine, we have hydrobromic acid. And then for the last one, when naming oxyacids, we have two different examples of name of the oxyanion, ending in, change it to ending in IC plus acid, and then changing an LUS for uh, if it ends in ITE. So for S or sulfur oxygen, so sulfate, it then turns into sulfuric acid. For nitrogen and oxygen or nitrate, we then have nitrous acid. And that is it. Thank you for watching.